what is your reaction to Joe Biden today announcing that this will be presidential task force assignment to reunite those children? I think the ad you just played is the closing argument, right? It's not just the moral thing to do. It's not just the correct thing to do. That is the closing argument of this campaign. Because I think through the lens of immigration and through the lens of family separation, you can truly see what the heart of this administration has been for four years. Now you can truly see the heart of the decision making of the Trump administration, which is, as you just read, intentional cruelty, right? Separating thousands of children at the border is cruel. Not knowing where their parents are is cruel. Closing the border to desperate asylum seekers is cruel. But you know what also is cruel? Holding super spreader events in the middle of a pandemic when thousands of people are dead. That is cruel also. Diminishing COVID-19 is also intentionally cruel. The Muslim ban is cruel. The, I mean, I could go on. And so what you see now, what we're seeing right now is sort of the argument that Joe Biden is making, which is if the character of this nation is on the ballot, which is what he's constantly reminding his audience, then just look at this video and decide for yourself. I was struck in the presidential debate that Donald Trump didn't even pretend that he would make an effort to find the parents of these children, didn't even pretend that that was an issue. He left it at how well taken care of they are, this coming from someone who has literally never seen how they are cared for. Right. I mean, I think that the report says one of the traits of the administration, which is they're reckless, they're incompetent. If we want to talk about children being taken care of, all we need to know is that under this administration, at least seven migrant children have died in ISIS watch. And so, again, that is all we need to know to make up our minds that this administration cannot even take care of the most vulnerable children. The uh, for the Biden campaign uh, going forward, what do you see as, as what they need to do in reaching out to Hispanic voters? This. So this this will help any undecided Latino voter that wasn't thinking of casting their ballot. But I, to me, the power of this ad goes beyond the Latino voter. Right. To me, it goes to those undecided white voters, those white women voters, those suburban women, because I think this speaks to them. There's an ad or there's a survey that came out today which found that 60 percent of swing voters are against family separation. Right? And so I think the interesting thing about this story is that where immigration was once the Trump campaign's best weapon, right? that is how they started in 2016, it's now backfiring. And that's not just helping with Latino voters as it once did, but it's now helping with other voters that were at one point unimaginable in this race.